welcome to another loot podcast so we decided that we're going to do this one in english sure sure why not because uh, in front of me is daniel nesek aka bad boy uh, so this is why we decided that we're going to do the content in english because daniel's uh, reach it's it's not a good idea to only to only keep it for Croatian or Balkan people. So we are going to go a little bit uh, abroad further. Daniel, how are you? Yeah, good, great. Yeah, like, you know, good idea. Uh, thanks for doing so. Definitely. Uh, my audience is like just international. My audience is international. And I would say, I mean, yours as well, like, you know, for this podcast, like, you know, as wide we go, like, you know, and, you know, I believe like, you know, what we're going to share here is should be actually like you know broadcasted around the world like you know without limitations so let's do english i told you when when uh, when you came here that uh, i had uh, i had doubts four years ago when uh, my friend invited me to 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 come to your seminar i said what am i going to to do to do to do there on a dating coach seminar and then i went uh, and uh, you blew me away with the knowledge uh, uh, with the organization of this information with the structure with everything i think that you are giving uh, unbelievable value to to people not not just to your uh, core target audience the guys who who wants to find girls date girls but even broader uh, I I find myself looking for content like yours very often and use it in uh, for example in business and other areas of of my life. Yeah. Because I mean it it really comes down to power of communication. You know, power of who are you? I like, you know, self growth, you know, kind of like you know, of course you can use this in negotiation, any communication, like you know, business. Like so definitely I would say dating is the core element like really like the core of your life you know the skills that it requires you know each of these skills that you develop you know kind of manners you know communication you know dressing style every you know kind of everything of those things you can use in other areas of the life you know in your personal and you know professional life so definitely it you know kind of um, dating is a big topic i would say it's the biggest field in psychology is like this kind of male female relationships but actually we go, we went beyond and above that but yeah so i, I hope we're going to open some interesting topics today so stay tuned till the end yes. because you're gonna learn some really cool shit today <laughs> so let's go uh, first with a question uh, which is typical uh who is daniel or who is bad boy <laughs> So I used to study graphic design okay but like you know very soon like I was like okay like that's not for me then I went to psychology I had some interesting stories there like you know but very soon I started like you know acquiring interest you know kind of the girls and going and developing finding the ways how to you know find my way under the sun you know relationships girls so within my very soon success you know friends people on forums is asking me okay, how this how that and basically very soon like you know i start giving lectures traveling around the world and becoming like you know dating coach like you know it's first kind of pickup coach and dating coach now more moving towards life mentor you're doing this for how many years 20 21 21 20, 20 yeah 20 plus you know i started like you know respect 1999 or 2000 you know so now it's like you know 22 20 you know so how old were you when you started i was like uh, 20 20 yeah 19 20 like you know i started like you know kind of going out playing my first approaches you know you know bars clubs you know trying to get some girls you know and then you know you know when you put attention into something and you can use some intelligence and it can go far How was uh, uh how was your dating life when you were much younger before you started uh having interest in this yeah, topics? Yeah, so basically just just I was core talent. In, introvert shy guy. Okay. okay. So I couldn't like you know I was relying to someone to introduce me to some girls and maybe maybe hope like you know you know something happens so you know with a girl but like you know of course like you know that's kind of you know 
one or two girls per year, that's kind of not enough for like, you know, anyone, not definitely for 20 year old. So I started exploring other different ways. How can I meet girls like, you know, and, you know, bring them home to my life. And so, yeah, like it took me many, many, you know, kind of, it took me actually to the point where I was voted as a number one pickup artist in the world, like so twice in a row. I basically, I really changed the whole community. There's who, a whole, who, who there's, do, there's a whole think? underground community of the guys who are kind of obsessed with meeting girls, picking them up, you know, kind of using them for sex, you know, whatever, like, you know, kind of like a whole this kind of like, like we have like, you know, camera guys here, like, you know, who are on the forums, reading, buying stuff. That's why, you know, kind of you have like, you know, community of the guys whose main interests are, you know, the women and they meet in basements, in some like, you know, bars, kind of like, you know, kind of shady places, like, you know, they exchange knowledge, they go out, like, you know, trying to find the girl of their life on the end of the day, you know. For me, I, I was I was thinking uh, these few days ago. For me, your skills are very dangerous. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Because, for example, this is like I am the professional fighter, and I fight with someone who is untrained. Can you <laughs> make a yes? A but the, prob here? the problem is like you know, like I would say because of like you know, female brain is way more designed for you know, communication. Okay, like when we were in a, back in the days in a cave, you know, kind of trying to catch zebra or whatever, lion, for the food, they were communicating, they were talking, so their brain got developed, this kind of like bigger part of the yeah, brain. Much more social intelligence. Exactly, yes. social intelligence. So basically, so you as an average man, you really need to learn a lot and get your skills just to be equal with them. So you can, you know, and then, of course, you, if you go above and beyond them, then, you know, kind of sky is the limit, you know, you can do whatever you want, like, you know, but yes, it's dangerous, like, you know, and, and I'm telling like with these skills, you can meet girl anywhere and, you know, take her home and, you know, do whatever you want, like, you know, you're gonna, you want to marry her or you want to keep her for a relationship or just date her or it's up to you. So what is, what is going to be the average girl uh, opinion or belief about the guys like you, pickup artists? What do you think? That, okay, that first, I don't see myself as a pickup artist. Okay, pickup artist, I would say, is mostly about meet her, have sex with her. The end. The end. Okay, next. Okay. okay. And I went beyond it. I would say, like, actually, the best sex happens within a relationship. And, like, you know, really, like, the whole, you can, you're not getting everything from a woman if you just kind of use it for you know if you just kind of use it for the sex you know you can get much more from her in later stages in you know other areas from emotional you know things like you know to cooking to living together you know there's a whole beyond and above so that the exactly. disclaimer is that yeah so the moral and ethics of all these things is important to you i mean it's not moral it's it's the needs Okay, like, you know, my needs are beyond just sex. I can have okay. sex anytime, like, you know. Yes. So, you know, I don't say I'm a relationship type of a guy, but I enjoy, like, I, I enjoy relationships. I enjoy being, you know, travel with them, have fun with them, you know, cook at home, like, you know, and have them and then, like, you know, bring her social circle and whatever. It can go to anything, like, you know, to threesomes, orgies, whatever, like, you know. So, I would say that's more me. So... I overgrew the whole pickup and became more dating, relationship, lifestyle coach. They just kind of, you know, okay. hardcore pickup artists. You know, pickup okay. artists like, you know, stop a girl on the street, yeah. game her, take her home, have bang her, and, you know, This is bye just bye. the beginning. It's exactly. Like, That's it's like in business. It's it, just the idea. It's like, What about it's, it's like you're learning how to drive the car and you can only start the car. Yes. You know, and then, okay, like, you're not going to enjoy the drive. I would say the best of women, what you're going to get is actually... The process, the drive, the relationship. The, the drive, the relationship. Yes, that's good. Uh, so you were voted two times uh, as a back best pickup artist. It, it was 2013-14. Okay. Uh, what would you say? Who is the who are the best uh, people in this field at the moment, in your opinion? If the, you exclude yourself. It's like there are plenty of the kids on the market right now. And that's the problem with the whole 
with the whole community because now everybody thinks you can be a coach. It's a popular, it's a trend to be a coach. Just like it's a trend to have a podcast. You know, everybody is doing it. Yes. So, like, it's just, like, it's a mess. You know, really, like, you know, they, I would say, like, they're, there are some okay guys, but they're just kind of recycling all stuff that we developed, like, you know, 15, 20 years ago. Like, Do you, you know, know about the real social dynamics? Yeah, they are, they are game over. They are game over? Yeah, they go, like, you know, pandemia and plus they moved to, like, you know, from the from the whole hardcore pickup, they moved to, you know, to self-growth and everything, spiritual okay, things. Okay, okay, okay. So feminists and pandemia and basically COVID just kind of... Kill them. So, what would you say to the to the audience? Uh, what is the game if we are going to focus on this topic? Okay. So, how did you begin your career, and what what is this career about? What is this skill? Okay. The how skill do you call this skill? About, is it, okay, like, is you it know. the game? Is it the what is the no most common terminology for this? Okay, like you know, yes, it, we can call it the game. Okay, but like you know, really, you know, but it's not the game. It's like it's a game of your life. Okay. Okay. It's the game of your life and it's about it's about mastering the art of dating of love. Okay. So it's like, you know, majority of the guys when it comes, I mean like, you know, you want to open a bank account, you have option number one. If one bank rejects you, you go to another one, you have abundance of the banks. You want to eat somewhere, you have like a, this restaurant, burger bar, this place, that place. When it comes to the girls, you don't have options. So basically what I do and what I develop, basically I want like to have abundance. So I'm the one who can choose. Okay, do I want to date a blonde or brunette? I want a supermodel. I want like girl next do you door. Do you want to go in a relationship? Do I want to be a relationship. Just I just want to have like, you know, like, one extent, yeah, like, you know, exactly. So how do we call this? Options, abundance. I mean, pretty much it should be like what girl, what hot girl has by default. Yes. Okay. A man needs to learn and needs to do like really kind of some heavy lifting. I mean, training. To get to this level where he can be like, you know, I mean, you, you you can call it playboy, player. It doesn't have to be. I just, you know, that's what I'm telling you. I, I don't feel myself as a pickup artist, as a player, playboy. I enjoy life. If I want to eat banana, I go eat bana banana, you know. So the first part of this uh, game, life game, let, let, let's call it relationship game. Uh, the first the first point is seduction, is meeting with someone and getting to know them, uh, attracting them. And then it can, I would it say, can like, I would say, eighty percent, sixty percent of that happens in that spectrum. Like, you know, okay, how, because it's first impression. Okay, like, you know, okay. you approach a girl, you know, kind of, you see a two girls in a nightclub in a bar, or you see like, you know, kind of two girls walking down the street, or she's sitting in a cafe next to you. What's very normal here in Croatia, like, you know, what do you do? How do you gap this? You know, this gap, like, you know, go there and start conversation, be interesting. So she is like, wow, this guy is amazing. I want to like, you know, so basically how to present this, the best side, not the worst side, but like, you know, the best side of yourself to that girl. So her, her first impression is like, a, wow, I love this guy. You know, I want to see this guy again. Yes. So how do you communicate that? That's kind of, so game is actually communicate, you know, it's a mastery of communication. Okay, like yes, and communication is very complicated skill. It's complex. It is. It, like, like it for is example, simple, okay, but it's in last two complex. years in whole COVID area and, and lockdown, it all went online. Now, mm -hmm. di uh, digital image became very important. How do you present yourself online? This is it, the beginning of the funnel. Exactly, like <laughs> you know, example, it's beginning. Like I'm mean, like marketing you know, terms. Like for example, back in the days, job interview was hundred percent who you are in front of. You know, person and on what's on CV. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, it's you know, it's kind of fifty percent who are you there CV and fifty percent who are you online, because they all do a you know kind of proper mm -hmm. research. What do you post on Facebook? What have you yeah. done? They a little bit Google you, okay? Mm -hmm. So their whole impression is that. Same thing happens in a dating nowadays. When she meets you, she goes on Instagram. Let's see who are his friends. Let's see wh where he goes, where he travels, what he eats, how does he lives his life. So the final decision comes from that. So basically, my job is to help you how you're going to present yourself in offline world and online online world in the dating market niche. 
Mm-hmm. So I have one question. Just uh, one. I have more. Okay. But let's start with this one. Uh, to to meet a woman, a woman, and uh, as you said, it is a uh, it, it is a fact of first impression. It is uh, the skill of communication. Communication is you can divide it in many different ways: body communication, uh, verbal communication, gestures, things like that. Whatever. Uh, and you said that whatever you did so far in life, it is presented in that in that moment when you meet a girl. Yeah. So if if it is uh, years of conditioning, a years of beliefs, a years of all those kinds of things of reaction of ours to to the environment uh, our processing of this information from outside uh, what can you do as a coach in in a small uh, amount of time to flip or to change or to uh, disrupt those beliefs uh, though that i don't know uh, self image uh, whatever is holding this person down what can you do in short time you can do a lot okay you, you can, can do, do a lot, lot and my time. job is just like you know what you know what car mechanics do take the car apart into the parts fix them all as much as you have like you know in that time specter put them all together so like it works you know your confidence your inner game you know dressing style your, you know kind of your approach your like you know insecurities hide what can be high like so like you know of course like in the more time you give us the coaches like you know you know the more i can deliver you know the more time i have on fixing something like you know is it like you know kind of you're walking you're talking you know how do you you know how do you present yourself you know your confidence all that takes time like you know but Can you change someone in three days? Yes and no. Some guys are changeable like this. Some guys they're gonna resist and are unconscious, not gonna allow the change. But what changes them? Does this uh, positive result in the short time changes their beliefs a little bit? I have changes. I have ways to change beliefs, like you know, without big side effects <laughs> like of, uh, diarrhea and everything. Because I have, like you know, when you when you change too much, the body just shuts down, like you know, yeah. and it gets him sick and you know forbids him to come back. You know, what kind of techniques do you use? From NLP to basically, like you know, my toolbox is really big, like you know, from you know energy stuff, things like. But like you know, kind of, I would say like you know, from crushing beliefs directly, like you know, there is lots of things, like you know, some beliefs are actually. Yeah, I mean, this is like beliefs game. You know, if you, if your mother or father was telling you, don't talk with the strangers, don't talk with the strangers, don't take a kid, you know, kind of like, you know, if you've been trained and brainwashed like that, of course, you're going to feel something 20 years later, like, you know, when you need to approach a beautiful girl in the bar club, like everything is going to, all your beliefs will stop you. What I did for myself, I cleaned everything. When I see a beautiful girl, there is nothing in my mind stopping you, stopping me. It's actually opposite. I created positive ones. That's the one for you. She's here. You are the only person who can get her. Do you have any chink in your armor? Any self-doubt, limiting belief or I, thought when you go there? After 20 the years, moment. I kill them all. No. After 20 you years, go, you, I, don't, you, I, I, you don't think about I did anything har- negative I did side. hardcore formatting. <laughs> like, yeah. in, like in first like four or five years, like, you know, to the point like you know you cannot imagine like you know, kind of like thousands of approaches and whatever, I, girl, whatever, super. whatever I will find that's stopping me, I went next week hardcore on it. Okay. Like whatever, all the or fears I had, I wrote on a paper and I, I just, you know, attack. numbers game on them, like, you know, keep doing it, like, you know. Just a numbers game. Yeah, I mean, like, you just basically, it's exposure. You expose, expose, expose yourself to the point, like, where you don't feel anything. And, and if you if you didn't have any results, one month, two months, three months, you still had the persistence you yeah i knew I, I i i i knew i'm gonna get it like you know i was like okay i'm gonna i'm gonna crash this field no matter what like you know so basically really like you know it's it just like like anything in life like you do something thousand ten thousand times you will you know you will master it you know you'll come to the point where you're you know whole and one but basically like, you know it really comes down to the confidence you know and what lots of guys people actually don't know what is confidence oh it's you, you believe in yourself mm-hmm. you know how would you say? Okay, like you know, let's 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 like let's pick your brain. How would you define the term of confidence? Confidence for me, I think that there is a, a generic conf- a generic confidence, general confidence that you have. Okay, but I think that confidence is 
uh, attached to the certain field of life, for example. If I can, if I do interviews for five years, once okay. a week, okay. I think that I will okay. have confidence. Okay, good, but why? That Let's go into mechanics. Let's go deeper. Because, uh, because... Let's, every let, time let's go at this. Confidence is a feeling that you feel in your body when? When you can uh, produce, when you can have results. That, that, that. For example, if I say I'm going to, to exercise every mm-hmm. Monday, Thursday, and Friday, and I do it every time, I have belief in myself, I have confidence that I'm going to do it because the past and the actions that I had the execution of mine told me that this is who I am. So keeping promises to yourself, this is co- confidence for me. This okay. is how you build confidence. Okay. If you keep promises to yourself, promises. this builds confidence. But uh, there are several aspects of confidence. How do you see it? Okay. You're close, but far. Okay. Like, you know. <laughs> close, but far. <laughs> um, if you, okay, you drive car, correct? You have confidence to drive car here. Yes. Okay. Would you have confidence to drive now in Ukraine? It's middle of the war. Uh, less. Less. No. Let's go. Or let's say in Iraq right now or some Baghdad. Yeah, yeah, less. yeah let's go. Okay. Yes, definitely. Okay. Why? Because of the environment. And the way different. you say, like, you know, can I, you, you know, you can do it. It's environment is different. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, and that's, that's the crack. Okay. okay. So, confidence is a feeling that you have in your body once you can predict actions or uh, results of your actions. Mm-hmm. So, for example, you said like, you know, you do this podcast 10,000 times, pretty much everything that happened is 10,000 times, what can happen? I know all the You know all environment and you feel confident because you know you can handle the shit, whatever happens. Mm. You can drive the car down the road, like, you know, here, with confident. Why? Because you pretty know all the streets, everything, what what can happen already happened in your 10,000 kilometers. Mm-hmm. Okay? So, same thing, why I'm confident with girls? Because I know I can predict results of my actions. I can predict, you know, kind of, yeah, results of my actions. I can go down the street and get any girl's phone number because I did it, like, you know, 10,000 times. I know pretty much everything what can happen within this limited experience. And I come up with, with solutions for everything. She has a boyfriend, this, she's in a hurry. Like, I pretty much have... You have the response for every response situation. Response for, for every situation because I do well, because it happened. Like, you know, it's, it's a pattern. Mm-hmm. Okay? So, and that's what, what confidence is. Once, for example, like, you go to the toilet to take a pee. You know, at first, you're not confident. Like, you know, but then, like, you know, with numbers, with things happening, you must and you become confident because, like, you control the environment. You control... <laughs> Actions. Okay. So when when a person says I'm not confident in the way I look, this is how this is why I cannot talk with women. I cannot seduce okay, women. Yes. I don't like how I look. look. Yeah. Okay. I'm not confident in yeah, my yeah. looks. Okay. So what now basically th- there is a way you can build confidence in other things. That means he's not. What does that mean? That means he's not confident. He can. He's not confident. A person is not confident that he can produce certain emotions in people. Which means like me, mm-hmm. okay? He so, thinks that his looks is stopping him to get the exactly result. to to get some kind of a reaction. Yeah. Okay. If you don't give a shit, like you know, like you're fat and like you don't, you know nothing is gonna. St- there is no confidence being triggered. But if you think okay, if you use your looks to get likes, and you and it's not producing it, you will feel like you're not controlling that segment. You feel insecure. You're not controlling. The results of your actions, okay? So, what I can do as a coach, I can give to you in, or that guy communication skills, like what to say, how to do, how to actually spark attraction in other way, in a personality, not in looks. So, no matter what your cards are, you can win with them. Yeah, no matter like, you know, how your nature, like, you know, what, what gave you, you know, it's, there's a difference between good looking, which is nature, versus, and looking good. Mm-hmm. Not everybody can be good looking, but mm-hmm. everybody can look good. You know, good suit, you know, shaved, clean, you know, kind of like, you Exercised. know. Exercised. Exercised, whatever, like, you know, health. Everybody can invest time, energy, and like, and become, wow, this guy's good looking. 
So, um, like, you know, definitely that's something that, you know, that people can do to improve. And, like, you know, if you, if something is stopping you in life, it's fixable. Like, you know, especially, especially in the dating niche. Like, I, I know, like, for lots of guys, it's like a nuclear science. You know, girls are really, like, you know, they function and they think they're on their own way. But it's possible, you know, to understand them. Actually, like, you know, I have tons of diagrams and graphs and everything to explain their behavior. And actually, it's very predictable. So, like, you know, there is always a way to improve and get better. Let's try for the audience. Let's try to break down what is happening in the moment of a guy sees a beautiful girl that he likes. Uh-huh. Uh, he, I suppose that regular guy gets nervous in that moment yeah, he pressure. thinks to himself oh my god she's not going to like me she's going to reject me yeah i don't look good i don't feel good at the moment maybe i will try next time can you can you can you usually break down go, for you, the audience the brain what goes happens? Into finding excuses why not to go there let's try it. yeah okay what happens to from so the guy's what, side from what, the girl's what side should happen okay like you know so first thing like you know what happens in a man because man is in a pressure to do the first move okay like you know at least in at least in uh, part of the Europe world where we live, majority is like you know the man has to do the first move. Okay, like you know, first move, first kiss, like you know, like first sex. He needs to lead. Sweden, some like you know, like countries kind of more kind of they went other way. They can take control, but I would say, um, I would say like you know this part of Europe and actually majority of the world is like you know women feels passive she needs to be seduced she needs to be chased okay so your job as a man is to go there and do the first move you know break the ice approach so basically first when you see a beautiful girl of course like you know guys get nervous because they don't know what to do there's no script you know once you give a person a script it's much easier when you know it's an action points bullet points okay now I need to uh, deliver the opener so basically first thing what no, you nobody teach them yeah, exactly nobody I mean teach them this anything. should be you know taught in a school at one point in a time like you know because nobody's you know it's actually the most important area of your life you know um so i would say the first the very first thing what you have to do is have prepared opener okay like you know so basically, opener is first sentence or question that starts conversation but what do you say say to yourself when when the negative negative thoughts start, start to pop into your mind you, just, you know it's like there's like a 10,000 negative mm-hmm. 1,000 negative thoughts versus like one positive one let me go and do it I don't give a shit like you know it, this is a ballsy moment it, you know it's kind of high risk high reward but actually there is no risk you know if you know what you're doing risk is minimized maybe, maybe a person can think this is exciting yeah, you can like you know. Let me try it's something exciting. new. I, you know? not, it's not a fear. This is exciting. Let's yeah. let's do it. I mean, let's try to do it. Basically, what is behind it's adrenaline. Yeah. Okay. So um, actually, my my gym coach actually gave me some pills. I still didn't use them. It's a blocker. I think beta blocker for adrenaline. It's kind of really red pill. You took. You don't feel anything because adrenaline is, adrenaline is not being like you know produced. So probably your brain is clear and you can go approach and do whatever. But uh, there's a problem with like you know with people with heart problems. Can so I didn't use this yet for my coachings. Maybe in the future I will. Like you know, but actually I prefer to actually remove this kind of anxiety and everything to handle it. Like you know, somebody you get used to your to your emotions. So it's logic versus emotion. Your emotions are telling you no, no, don't go there. Like you know, you know, okay, I have to do this. You know. So you you walk towards the girl or girls, group of the girls, even easier. The more girls there are, the easier it gets. I know it, but it's counterproductive, but actually, because there's always one girl will talk, you know, the bigger the group, one is your, you know, blah, blah, blah. She, she wants to talk and you open her, she can tell you slowly move around the group, okay, like, you know, so that's kind of easy. But I would say like, first thing, what you have to have, like, you know, basically, I always do like, a, I have like a two or three openers on my list, always like, you know, hey girls, let me ask you something, you know, kind of like, you know, some basic question. Um, and then like, maybe like, you know, one or two direct ones, you girls are so damn beautiful tonight. You know, who are you? I simply have to get to know you like, you know, full direct, you know, I like you. I want to get to know you. Mm-hmm. You know, if it is one girl, I don't know why, but I really like you. What's the name? Or if you're going very, very high, you are exactly the type of a girl I'm looking for. <laughs> I want to get to know you. What's the name? You know, full direct. And I would say basically the whole community started with more indirect, hide your intentions. I went all direct in, all like, you know, why hide it? You know, 
she knows why I'm approaching her, like, you know. You know, it's, you know, she dressed up and, like, you know, she prepared for it. That's whole, her game plan is to get me or you to approach, like, you know. So use that energy. You know, I love the way you look. But I want to get to know you. Who are you? What's your name? So your looks attracted me. You know, so what is happening in her mind at the moment? So in the what, mind is like, she, okay, okay, this guy had... Is she okay. looking how you look? Yeah, is she so, looking how you move? Uh, so basically you are, what you call voice. like, you know, blackboard, tabula rasa. Okay, she doesn't know anything about you. So like this empty screen. Now your job is to put on that screen. Basically, she's going to learn about you from the way you talk, the way you move, the way you are dressed, the way you smell. And what you say, okay? And it's so she's and it's happening very fast. She's creating an image, just first impression and overall impression. She's creating an image of who the fuck are you and what can you offer. Every girl in her mind, she's thinking, okay, what can I have from this guy? You know, is it gonna be like the fuck body? You know, relationship tie? You know, kind of future boyfriend? Maybe I marry? You know, marriage material? What is this guy for? What can he give me? So, so as I said, first is the opener. It's kind of breaking the ice. Hey, girls, let me ask you something. Mm -hmm. Okay? Like, and then, like, you know, there are different things you can ask. Okay, they start talking. You can go from, like, hey, best clubs to go out tonight, or, like, this club sucks, you know, or to something more kind of, you know. I, I love drama openers, you know, you know. Um, hey, girls, let me ask you something. I just came back from, you know, my female friend. And it's a little bit longer open, but it's amazing. Like, you know, female friend, she's at home crying. She wants to kill herself. I really don't know what to do, okay? Like, you know, I tried to help her, but like, you know, basically what happened, like, you know, she came home yesterday and she found her boyfriend actually, like, you know, like, you know, they're about to get married in a couple of months. They have a wedding plan and everything, like, you know, on a couch, on a sofa with his business partner, you know, in very, you know, dirty position, you know, on his knees, you know. And, you know, because she loves you and he loves you, we have an amazing relationship, but, you know, he said it just happened accidentally. They were watching some, you know, Excel on a computer and one thing led to another and bam, you know. <laughs> so she's crying, you know, she didn't know how to handle it. She created a whole drama, kicked them both out, like, you know, and she doesn't know what to do because, like, they have, like, a wedding plan on September, a couple of months from now, everything is paid, you know. What What will you do? Will you stay together? Will you forgive him? Like, you know, you know, girls loves drama. You know, they love drama. So especially when you come, girls, let me ask something. If you find, it's how I usually approach, girls, let me ask you something. If you find a guy cheating on you, but not with another girl, with a guy, is that cheating? Yes, of course. Because, you know, what just happened, I was from a female friend, she's crying, she wants to kill herself, she doesn't know what to do, I try to help her, I need your help, okay? So this is what happened. And then you do the whole story. So the bigger group, the more fun, the more show. One is like, yeah, I will break up. You know, the other one is like, no, I, you know, you know, I would stay. I will forgive him. If he loves me, it's okay. Like, you know, I'm like, maybe I'm crazy. But I don't know. If I come home and I catch my girlfriend on, on sofa, on couch, making out with her business partner, I'm like, you know, look, or with her boss, no one happier than me. Like, you know, I mean, I'll be crying, but from happiness, not from like, you know. <laughs> Because now you can move to the threesomes and you know, so like you know it opens the all and that's kind of the beauty of communication from totally from totally cold who the fuck is this guy you create energy of fun excitement you know sexual and you know you you are the one who is navigating this yeah. energy May, it, maybe they had boring and dull exactly day up till, up, and really like you know with me point. with me it's gonna be probably the most interesting conversation they had in a month mm -hmm. You bring some joy in their life. Exactly. I bring the spark, the joy, and wow. Like all of those will remember my conversation, like, you know, for months or sometimes years. <laughs> and um, so really, basically, you're a magician. You can, you know, from this awkward energy of, you know, kind of like, you know, I need to go out there, you create the most fun weather crying, you know, kind of like, you know, laughing, you're high-fiving, then you change the topic. What, what, you look like some crazy girl. What horoscope sign are you? change your topic, horoscope. <laughs> so I would say opener, number one, good opener, you know, indirect fun whatever like you know sexual drama like you know or direct second thing is what you are doing you are creating attraction okay um attraction is a feeling they females say this is a kind of feeling of butterflies in their stomach you know when they feel like you know you know 
But actual attraction is not only male, male to female, female to male motion. But you can be like, you know, you see like, you know, nice car, you feel attraction. You see, you know, nice house, you feel, fuck, I want this. Okay. So basically, just like with confidence, definition of attraction would be when, when you are basically, you have internal your wish list, you know, but how does your ideal woman looks like or ideal man or whatever, you know, kind of car. When your basically attraction is a feeling that gets triggered in your body once your internal list, wish list matches external world. Okay. So in that moment you get, wow, I want this. Your body is telling you, giving you a signal. It's a signal just like nervousness, just like fear. It's a signal from your body. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's a signal telling you, you want this, go and get it. So when you see a hot girl and you feel that butterflies in your stomach, it's your unconscious telling you, go there and get her. Every guy will fight that uh, with fear or with something. Like, you know, you can act on it, you know, and just go with the flow. That's kind of what, you know, being a natural, natural game is all about, okay? So, uh, girls, they have their list in their unconscious mind what ideal man is, okay? What they're searching for. And the good news for men is pretty much all, I would say, 90% of women on this planet are searching for exactly the same type of a guy or attracted to exactly the same type of a guy. Because they're brainwashed yeah, by exactly. the same content. You know, I mean, like, exactly, same, you know, Cosmo and movies. So basically, pretty much, if you break down 12, 13, 15 characteristics of quality men, okay, that every girl out there is searching for. Confidence, dominance, guy who is, you know, leader. Humor. Humor, sense for humor, humor uh, sense, style, you know, kind of like, you know, has some style. Uh, emotional, social intelligence, has friends, loves to travel, educated, independent, lives alone, not with the parents, mom, whatever, like, you know. <laughs> um, successful, has some, you know, kind of making money, that's 12, sexual, you know, a little bit more, maybe adventurous, interesting, can talk about lots of things. So this is pretty much what, you know, girl, girls in Croatia call Mr. Normal. You know, <laughs> I mean, like, you know, to become Mr. Normal, you need to kind of really, like, you know, kind of work on to yourself. To work on yourself. Have like, like a 10, 15 <laughs> years to become normal. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> uh, so um, pretty much if you manage to convey that in, let's say, I can do, it will take me half an hour, now I can convey that list within three to five minutes. You really, I go there and I'm like, okay, this guy is dominant, it's fun, like for, with this opener, like in middle, okay, this guy is dominant, fun, interesting, sexual. I can, with the opener, I can flip half of these things in her mind about me. Hmm. So this is, this is the, so the this first, is the first part the first, of attraction. The first okay. attraction. Then okay. what happens, there are signals. You know, when a girl likes to, she'll start playing with her hair, mm -hmm. leaning in, ask you questions. So you you have a good feedback. Are you progressing well or she's like looking around and not into you? So basically that's how you know, like, you know, you know kind of, she starts like, you know, kind of biting her nails, putting a lipstick, playing with her hair, you know, like, you know, doing lip, you know, everything else on like, you know, on, you know, kind of exposing sexual parts. Like, you know, we all experience that. Like, you know, it's a signal from unconscious. You like the guy. Okay, so f this first part, for example, you, you were with a group of girls, you came in, uh, you lift up the energy of this yeah, and part then of the... Yeah, uh, and the energy, then you choose your target girl, let's yes. say. You choose your target girl and you do, you do the stuff. And maybe you can be vocal about it and say, I like your friend. Exactly. Martina, whatever, la la la. And then you start yeah, talking you with her exactly a little bit know. more. And um, now she likes you. Mm -hmm. Her body, her unconscious likes you, but she doesn't know logically anything about you. So if you bring that girl back home and you try to have sex, she'll be like, oh, I don't know you. This is too fast. Who are you? Like, you know, you're going to create last minute resistance. The main problem of pickup artists, pulling the girls home too fast before the sales process is fully finished. You know, same thing if you try to you know, sell something like fast, like, you know, you're going to hit some resistance. So second part of the game is... I would say more connection, more um, getting to know each other. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Sharing stories, experiences. Sharing story, exactly. But you are going through, yourself. let's say, main five, seven topics. Hobbies, music, movies, series nowadays, uh, sports, travel, childhood, food, drinks, relationships, you know, kind of these topics, but you go wide and deep on but those But keep topics. it funky, not, not boring. Exactly, you know. But she needs to learn about you. Who the fuck are you? As well, you give her opportunity for her, but it should be 50-50. Conversation is never 50-50, it's usually 60-40, 70-30 from the men's side, so you need to be able to talk, talk, talk. But even the introvert, shy guys can learn how to talk. I'm a perfect example of this, you know. So uh, it really comes down to, you know, exchange. Uh, actually, in seduction, you have two main energies that you're playing with, okay? There's this energy of connection. Like, for example, you and me, we sit down on a coffee and we talk about, we talk about things, we share oh, who, who is a good camera guy, not which team do you have, you know, and we start bonding, ex exchanging stories, funny things, oh, where do you have, some, you know, summer holidays, we will find some commonalities. We'll find some people that we know, we'll have some stories, and we'll become friends. So this is this kind of connection, comfort, finding commonalities. Rapport. Uh, rapport, exactly. Like, you know, because it's rapport, okay? What lots of guys do, especially nice guys, they do all their seduction, they create this rapport, you know, that's the only thing what they do. But not organically, not on purpose. It doesn't matter how you do it. They do it naturally, but then you end up in a friend zone. Why? Because you just spent 90% of your time or 100% of your time like creating this, I get to know you, or oh, what music do you listen, oh, I love it, what food do you do? So you exchange, she only sees, okay, this guy, Get, wants to get to know my personality. Okay. He's interested in my personality. So how how do she people will, don't get in, exactly, into this wait, trap? Wait, wait, I'm coming there. She will put you in the box, this guy is a friend, but you are the one who created it. Not her, don't blame her. Because 100% of your content was rapport, was connection based. Mm -hmm. You were building the friendship. Her feedback is, this guy doesn't want to fuck me, he wants to be friends. This is the nice guy problem. This is the nice guy problem. So what I did, what I introduced into the seduction world is the concept of controlling, controlled sexual energy. Just like you have tools to build rapport, there are tools to build sexual energy between two people. Okay? And we'll go deeper into that. But basically, like, you know, all tools techniques what you have in seduction. It basically comes down into these three, three categories. Opening, then creating attraction, basically, sorry, creating connection, even the attraction is sexual energy, like, you know, and then and then like, creating sexual energy. Now, what calibration, important skill in seduction is, is knowing how much of rapport she needs and how much of sexual to go home and sleep with you. Emotional girls, Girls looking for relationships, of course, she needs more rapport, less sexual. The girls who are looking for one night stand, they need, you know, you don't need to talk with her about her childhood and everything for two hours. She wants to get laid. Yeah. Open your eyes, recognize that. Depends on the on the situation that this woman is in. Yeah, let's say she's in a bar club. I mean, yeah. uh, I would say more situation. Part time, of the life. Yeah. I would say period in a month as well. In the, like, you know, mm -hmm. days when they are fully crazy and horny, so that you can actually smell and learn how to smell and learn how to recognize. So actually, you're, you know, if you just want to get laid, every nightclub bar has like two, three, five of those girls who came there just to get laid. So your game can be like, you're just gonna, you know, I used to play that, like, you know, kind of just go like, you know, 2 a.m. in the morning, go there, like sniper shot, like, you know, one approach, one girl, go home. I was in a club 10 minutes. So from my experience, the typical process is, for example, you find yourself in some situation, whether it's club, bar, whatever, you meet some uh, uh, girl that you like, you come to her, you uh, you start seducting her, she likes you, uh, you meet each other a little bit, and then you get her phone, phone num number, and then you part your ways, and for example, you text her a few days after it, and you say, let's go on a coffee, okay, let's yeah. go on whatever, drink, and then, you have, for example, few few uh, dates uh, after 
something sexually. Happens. A very traditional base game. This is traditional. Yeah. This is traditional. Okay. Uh, for example, your your uh, goal, your aim is that you want to have a relationship with this girl. Sure. Let's try to break this uh, process down. So you go on a first date after this uh, seduction part of the, uh, when you met, met met her the first time, first night in the bar, and uh, this is your first date. And you said you try to balance this rapport building with the sex, sex sexual sure. energy so that you don't end up in the friend zone. Yeah, yeah. Basically, you need to maintain, okay, basically, and girls hate this, like, you know, kind of, you know, basically, when, when, when I'm, whenever I'm introduced to some, like, you know, female friends and, like, my girlfriend, like, okay, like, he's, like, you know, kind of dating coach, how is that possible? I'm like, I managed to break down. It's not possible, you know, it's the chemistry. I'm like, I found the formula for chemistry. What? No, it's not possible. Basically, chemistry, you know, what the girls call, like, you know, oh, there is a chemistry, there is no chemistry. It's about two things. Rapport plus sexual energy. You create, basically, and now let's separate. What is rapport? Rapport is brain-to-brain -brain connection. It's we, logical. It's logical. We find out common experiences. You like beer, good beer, I like beer. We talk, we find out we are both in Thailand on the same hotel. Oh, my God, we'll feel closer. Oh, my God, we both have the same camera, we both, you know, kind of, we had some, you know, we both dated some girl. We found lots of, you know, connection points. We will feel some rapport, some rapport connected, okay? So you do that and you add on, on it like sexual energy. How do you do that? Okay, so that's kind of my PhD. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how crazy do you, how deep do you want to go here? Like, you know, um, okay, verbal and non-verbal. Okay, so let's first cover non-verbal. Sex is about being physical. Okay, at one point in a time, doesn't matter where you need to, she needs to get comfortable with your touch. Okay, because you know, end up, you will be touching each other a lot. That's your, let's say, it's one of your goals. So slowly, but that's why we divided the body into three zones, green zone, yellow zone, red zone. So first you start with like, you know, touching the, you know, normal non-sexual parts, high five, exactly. Like, you know, you do like, you know, up the arm, shoulder, oh my God, you have something here. Like, so she gets used to touch you. Maybe you can dance, like what I saw. Like. Then slowly you start whispering. So you kind of, this is looking at yellow zone, the neck, you know, the back, like, you know, more kind of, you know, lower back, you know, touch everything. If you're in a nightclub. You go in, you lean in, you know, kind of, you, you talk with her mm -hmm. on the ear, uh, whispering that, and then basically you go to the, let's say, let's say the breaking point sort of go, goes up to the kiss and then start going down. And now basically after you kissed, you can start kind of, you know, going, you know, with the boobs part and more sexual things, but it goes like down the hill. Um, that's kind of the verbal part. It takes slow, it takes time. But like, you know, you still do high five, like maybe do some palm reading. Oh my God, I love your necklace, compliments. You know, kind of, you, start, you touch, and it's like you can put hand, you, you do some selfies, you know, kind of perfect thing for camera. You, you take your phone, you hug. You're using excuses to create this, it's okay to touch each other. She gets comfortable with your touch. It's a crucial element of seduction. Then there is a verbal part, which is actually my little baby. It's a dirty talk, okay? <laughs> so, uh, it's really my PhD. Like, you know, I found a way, I found like lots of like, you know, brain hacking tools. Let's go like this, okay? So, what is dirty talk? What is dirty talk? What is dirty talk? Yeah. You ask me. Of course. <laughs> or should I ask your camera friends Maybe here? Maybe you can ask him. <laughs> okay, it's usually something what you do during the sex. You know, baby, you yes. have such a sexy legs. Yes. I love, yes. like, you know, this. I love, you know, love the kiss, okay? So. Who's your daddy? Exactly. So what if, let's say you're in a, you're in a bar, you're in a nightclub. Are you familiar with, uh, with anchoring, NLP, term of, terms of anchoring? I think that I am. Okay, so let's say. But you can tell. Okay, let's audience. say, let's say you drive the car and mm -hmm. like you know on this street you had a car crash, accident mm -hmm. like ten years ago. Mm -hmm. So there's some bad feeling every time you come to this street. You f you know it gets triggered some bad feeling. Mm -hmm. So it's a 
it's a feeling that's connected to this kind of certain place. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it comes from, you know, Dr. Pavlov. He had his, you know, dog training, like, you know, when he was like, you know, kind of, with, with, you know, giving them food with a bell. They would start salivating because they knew the, the, the food was coming. So even like, you know, with just the bell, without food, they would still go crazy. Mm-hmm. Okay. So it, it comes from that. So basically you can, you can anchor certain feelings to the body. Like, for example, you and your girlfriend, you have like, you know, music that you like in your relationship. And you break up years after that when you hear that music on the radio, you will remember her. That's an anchor. Something, something. Now, you can use that. For example, when you use dirty talk lines from the bedroom from her previous boyfriend in the nightclub and you start whispering that in the ear, what's you going to trigger? You're going to take trigger that emotions, okay? So, I found a way how to... So her body chemistry changes. Exactly. I found a way how to make their panties wet in any place, anytime within like, you know, five to 10 minutes with a couple of those lines. Okay. And it all comes down to very high tech uh, brain engineering. Okay. So we have two hemispheres, left hemisphere, right hemisphere. Okay. And we know from the studies that right part of the brain deals with emotions, deals with, you know, uh, colors, like, you know, it's more kind of female part of the brain, like, you know, rhythm, music, you know, kind of, uh, left part of the brain is a man's brain, you know, logic, reasoning, mathematics, languages, okay, like, you know, all of that, like, you know, it's kind of, actually, languages are on the right part, like, on the female side. Um, right part of the brain controls left part of the body, it's X, you know, left part of the right brain. So, everything you whisper to the left ear bypasses the logic, and it goes directly into emotional part of the brain. This is scientifically proven. It's scientifically proven. Check it. <laughs> it's fucking amazing. Like, you go to the... And I tested it. I was like, holy shit, like, I need to test this. Like, so, see, I took lots of elements like this. What ear? Left ear. Left ear. Yeah. So, you, you whisper same sentence on the right ear, they argue with you. On left ear, they just kind of swallow and they go in this kind of feminine energy, like, you know. So, second thing, what I did, like, you know, okay, is... Um, I took compliments, form of, com- okay. Do you know why women love compliments? Because uh, the underlying need of, of all humans is that we want to be accepted, loved. Yes, it triggers. And what else? I'm not sure. We have certain standards what sexy is in the world, okay? So if she goes to the gym, you know, kind of she's working out for months, months, like she's like, you know, like sweating and all that kind of pain. In the moment you say it, it gets, tr- it gets triggered. It pays off for all that work. Someone tells you, oh, you, you, you're slimmer or, you know, you look fit or, you know, kind of you're stronger. All that work and hassle pays off in that moment. Okay. And because like, you know, okay, now you're reaching into the box of being sexy or hot or something, you know, kind of, you know, it means like any kind of you. But those compliments something. are honest compliments. They're not Sorry? lies. They're honest compliments. The best compliments are the honest, okay? Yes. So we <coughs> only play with the honest ones. I mean, you can play with the lies one, but like, you know, it's scripted, but, they, you know, they don't work as good as. So what I did, the problem with compliments and women is it's only one way. You're only lifting her up. And you're creating this gap between you and her, okay? You know, even she's always up, like, you know, especially, so if you go, oh, well, you have such sexy legs, her nose gets bigger and bigger and bigger. So it's one way direction. So compliments are good, but actually bad for seduction. Okay. Okay? You understand that? Yes. Okay? You cannot claim, you cannot base your game on just compliments. If she's insecure girl, yes, you're going to make her feel sexier, more kind of loved, like, you know, kind of. But for, like, you know, beautiful girls, you know, compliments are not, especially, you're not going to get her panties wet. But if in a, that sentence, you just do, like, you know, little change in the sentence, it becomes very sexual. And you add yourself in the sentence. Can you give us a, an example? You have amazing legs. I can't stop thinking about them. I. For example, stop thinking about exactly. It, yeah. yeah, you you are yourself. I, you know. So it's not only her; it's her plus me. It's us. Okay. okay. You know what? Those legs. You have such amazing legs. When I look at them, my blood goes to all wrong places, babe. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say dick. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I yeah. wasn't like you know perverted. Yeah, but yeah. she had a 
she cre- yeah, I create yeah. a picture of my dick in her mind. Yes. <laughs> yes. Very subtle and plus the left ear. So what I'm doing, I'm creating images, sounds, and movie clips in her mind every three to five minutes in conversation about two of us having sex. After 15 minutes, because they can multitask, after 15 minutes, you know, things get very hot. But there's a whole process how to do that, like, you know, so it's, it's very, it's very dangerous weapon because, like, you know, it can get you into the problems. But, like, you know, if you do it well, it's, it's superpowers. So we were talking about the first or the first few yeah. dates and then uh, building rapport and, and building sexual I mean, energy, giving compliments. Okay. But do you want to put this into the dates timeline or, like, you know, I can do all of that in a nightclub, in a bar, in a cafe within, like, you know, half an hour, you know. Opener, create attraction, build rapport, get yeah. her sexual. So let's 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 say uh, for in this first scenario, let's let's say that this guy wants to be in a relationship okay, with this good. girl. Then you're gonna then postpone then the whole we'll... sexual party until the first or second date. Yes. Okay. You know you don't but pull don't your wait, high heavy don't, guns. Don't, don't don't wait too long. Exactly. Don't you know? So basically, to... it's basically the guys. Can you see this screen? Yes. This sexual is. energy goes like this. Okay, goes up. To, this is like a, the peak is on a f- f- second date. So this is like a f- basically new meeting somewhere. First date, sexual energy here. Second date, there's a peak of energy. Third date, fourth date goes down. So on the f- date number five, you're already in a friend zone if you didn't do something with the data. So I would say second or third date. If it did, if it nothing happened by a third date, kiss, nothing, nothing, it's game over. You wasted your time. What did you do wrong? Not you didn't you, create you sexual didn't energy. You didn't pull the trigger. You didn't pull the trigger. It's like in the sales. You know, there's a person. <laughs> that, and there's a moment. You know, window opportunity when person is ready to buy something. You know, the lead gets called after 24 hours, 48 hours, whatever it is. Like you know, you give him an option. 48 hours, it's game over. Dynamics here a little bit different because we're talking about you know girls who are very emotional. They are using their emotions to for decision making process. We may use logic. Do I want to buy these shoes or not? Do I need them? Or, you know, we use logic. How much they cost? Female, they, you know, girls they use emotions. How do I feel? So let's say you do a good job in in those first few dates. You end up together. The sex was great, and uh, when you s- you said that 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 you are for your clients that you are giving them uh, service, not in just seduction part, but, but in also home. in relationship and things like that. So I mean, you had sex for a few few times. Uh, you get to know each other even more. You like each other, and then where this goes after it? What do you say to your clients? Uh, okay. Good some point. Okay, so first, let's move towards know, some the Some first problems went okay. on the surfaces. Okay, great, great. Whatever. Uh, okay, after the first, you know, kind of couple of weeks, let's say two months, you need to start engineering the relationship. It's like it's like running a company, you know, having employees and like, okay, it should more like on you know, a partnership level. I like my girls to be kind of, you know, on level where I am. I usually bring them up and educate them and coach them and just kind of to... So we work together. Basically... A relationship, it really comes down to understanding the needs of other person. Is this relationship going to be successful or not? Okay. So, you as a man, you have your needs. What do you need from her? Okay. Like, whatever it is, regular sex, you know, that she cares for you, cooks, you need, I don't know, to cuddle, whatever you as a man you need. Okay. What? Then there's a her needs as a woman to be taken care of, to be taken on dates, to be loved, to, you know, regular sex, to whatever it is, whatever her needs are. Your job as a architect of a relationship, someone needs to be architect, is to construct, to sit her down, what I usually tell my girls, I have a homework for you. Okay, I want you to sit down and think about 
I want you on a list. You can be like written down or WhatsApp. You can send me WhatsApp message. Everything what makes you happy. Everything what other guys did and didn't do to you and they should be doing to make you happy. I want to know that. I want to know what fills your cup. So we basically, within I was the second month, I started exchanging those lists. I go really deep. Okay, like, this is what I need would as a man. They, would they give it to you, the information? Oh, yes. I usually, yes. You know, after, after, not after first month, but second, third month, yes. I like it. Because I usually do whole pre, you know, pre-play, like how do I open up? I'm like, listen, like, you know, you know, in order for us to stay together, it all comes down to this. You know, to me, I want I want my relationship to be the best, like you know, every moment, every second. So we, you know, we are here for each other, and we kind of we give best for each other. I want you happy. Now, I'm experienced with women, and I pretty much know what women want. But let's let's play. I'm dumb. I don't know anything about. Can you please go home and write me this list? I want to know everything what makes you happy, what other guys did and didn't do. And that I, as I'm, as your man, that I should be doing on a regular basis. But then so if you stay on that list. That's a very good idea. Yeah. It's a, it's a splendid idea. <clears throat> but what it comes down to, in my opinion, in, in my experience also, for example, I can, I can know uh, uh, consciously what my girl wants, what she needs. We communicated that, but uh, somehow I'm too much uh, self-obsessed, egoistic, Execution. Mm -hmm. egoistic, and uh, I'm only looking at why she is not giving that to me, what I want. But and I she forgot about her. Yeah, yeah. Like this it. is this is, in my opinion, what what happens the most in what, relationships. What I do, I do uh, reality checks every month. Okay. Like stat status of relationship. That's a good idea. Like where are we on sex, on food, on this, on that? Like you know, everybody we give points to each other. Score. Like you know, yeah. exactly. Like you know, metrics. Okay, you that's know. a good idea. Yeah, uh, I take it really like you know down to the science, and if it is communicated, but someone needs to be architect. If you just think like it's gonna happen, it's not gonna happen. It's a mess. If you freestyle, I like to control. Not all. I'm not control freak, but I you know, it's. It's my house, my company, like, and I want, you know, everything to work good so everybody's happy. Everybody's getting what they want to, you know, to be there and to kind of give the soul for this relationship for whatever. Like, so we are both into it, like, you know. My job is to make you happy. Your job is to make, to do, you, use your resources to make me happy. So reciprocity. Exactly. And the, it, it all comes down to that. If I'll be making you happy and you'll be making me happy, we can stay together forever. Correct? It all comes down to that. Now, most people, they freestyle on that. Girls, they have no idea how to make men happy. They think it's sex, you know, kind of, I need to like, you know, give him a blowjob or cook, you know, they, they don't know. And everybody is guessing, they're not exactly, asking. Exactly, they're guessing. So like, you know, when they say communication is important, yes, but quality communication, this is quality communication. Not just kind of, let's talk about your problems and let's guess what's bothering you. You know, talk about shit, you know, how was your day? That's bullshit communication. I want quality communication. But usually what can happen in uh, relationships <clears throat> that a uh, uh, girl or a man, whatever, they tend to have the problems with uh, expressing their feelings, uh, expressing their needs, because maybe there is some conflict there. Maybe you need to help them. Like, you know, you can need to sit down. Whatever you think there's a problem, you go there, like, you know, and not full force, but like, you know, you sit down and listen, like, you know. Our relationship depends on this. Yeah, yeah. So we need to, exactly. we we need we, to do we, this. You, you, you need to have these kind of uncomfortable talks. Mm -hmm. Like, every don't so put everything under the rug. <laughs> that's yeah, the, like, that's exactly. Like, you know, don't idea. think, like, you know, play, like, everything is fine and, like, you know, playing, like, you know, kind of, so, like, you know, if you see a problem, like, you know, your job is to bring it up and, you know, so how much of, of your work at the moment <clears throat> consists of this uh, pickup uh, part, uh, seduction part, or, or relationship part? Where do you focus the most of your... I would say, okay, it depends. Like, you know, like, you know, kind of whatever the client has, the needs, the problems, like, you know, kind of some guys are already dating. And some. you do one-on-one, -on -one, you do groups, you yeah, do seminars. Yeah, like I would say during the year, I do one-on-ones. During the summer, more like, you know, kind of this kind of boot camps, like, you know, kind of, kind of you know, group coaching, you know. 
But yeah, I prefer doing like, you know, I prefer dedicating, like, you know, sit down with a client and just kind of, you know, focus on his so needs. The best like, results you, know. you can do when yeah, you do one-on-one. On one, yeah. I mean, there is a there is a big thing with, with a group energy, with momentum, especially in this sport, when the guys are pushing each other, you can, you know, break all your boundaries, you know, when you see like, you know, kind of, you know, your wingman, you know, kissing or you try harder, like, you know, so it's like, there is group dynamics, if you know how to control it as a coach, like that, you, that can go beyond and, you know, you can really like, you know, you can achieve much more than in one-on-one -on -one in this kind of breaking beliefs and everything else, like, you know, so both are good, you know, depends for what, like, you know, if it is fine tuning, of course, one-on-one -on -one is better, like some, you know, very delicate stuff, like, you know, if it is just kind of destroying beliefs and kind of pushing, you know, getting as much results as possible within short, I would say group trainings is like, you know, good, like, you know. So we focused on the first <clears throat> scenario was uh, the the standard scenario. You met the, met the girl in in a club bar. You went a few dates. You had sex. You wanted a relationship. You get got in, into a relationship, and this is this is ongoing thing. Uh, we t even talked about how can you uh, how can you manage that this ex uh, relationship uh, is good that you communicate communicate your needs. And that th this relationship flourishes. So let's focus on the second uh, scenario, where you wanna have a one night stand, where you wanna have mm -hmm. sex right away, as 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 quick as possible. What do you do differently? Okay, definitely. And how much is dependent on on the the woman being in that uh, emotional state at the moment? So when it comes to, you know, they call this kind of in the community DTF, like, you know, down to fuck, or, you know, girls who are basically, okay, like, horny. you just focus on one night stands, okay? Um, there are two segments. Before me, before I came to, to the community and after, before it was just kind of, okay, find a girl who is up for that and go for it. But then I create the whole process of getting her panties wet. So you can take a girl who is not sexual and, you know, create this, so basically, pretty much, I wouldn't say every girl, but, you know, you you are the one who is controlling it. You can control the process of, you know, getting her horny. There are girls. So if the girl is in a happy relationship at the moment, can you do it? Uh, happy? No. If she's in a relationship, probably you can do it. Like, you can find, like, but, you know, it's kind of, I don't advise. I don't know because there's so many single girls, like, you know, why to do it. But it's possible. It's possible. It requires a little bit more advanced skills, like, you know, breaking the whole relationship. But, like, you know, it's not ethically correct like you know i mean people are probably with relationships anyway so like, why to break those few relationships that you have on the market are happy like you know we know why to do so like, you know. right. um i prefer creating relationships for, on the world and you know breaking them apart so but you know there is the whole like you know the dark side of seduction and like in everything else like you know you know there's a force and there's a you know kind of the dark side of the force you know uh but Yes, yeah, so back to the topic, uh, you can, 20% of the bar club are the girls, you know, 50-20% are the girls who are there looking for one night stand, for one night stand, you know, maybe she's horny, maybe she had the boyfriend cheat on her, she's looking for revenge, she's bored, whatever, like, you know, it's like she's looking for some fun. You can usually recognize them, there's a way how to recognize them. You know, dressing style, position in a club, you know, like, you know, lipstick, high heels, like, you know, shaved legs, usually, like, you know, it's, you know, they position under, like, you know, the most bright light in the club, so they are visible, it's the whole unconscious game, they, they do it very well, you know, so if you open your eyes, you can find them. Uh, but as well, the girls who are kind of more into, you know, let me just have fun and dance, you can still convert with the proper techniques get her horny and, you know, kind of take home and have fun, like, you know, so there's about definitely what is changing is like a more focus on sexual energy, less connection and sorting out logistics, you know, her friends, that's kind of what, you know, kind of usually like, you know, if she came with her girlfriends, you know, she's driving the car and two of them are, you know, kind of she needs, she's responsible for them, you need to sort out the whole logistics dynamics, you know, figure out how you're going to isolate that girl from her group. And there is a tricks and techniques for that. What about uh, three way? Oh, three way. That's kind of another one of my really, <laughs> uh, really good way. What I like to do, like you know, these days and especially in relationships. 
there are, you know, basically, there's a more and more bisexual girls, but actually by curious, you know. I would mm-hmm. say especially this generation, like, you know, obviously X and Z, mm-hmm. they are totally open up to things. So, like, you know, you can have that's kind of more and more they have mm-hmm. experiences with other girls. So you can definitely play with it. There's a whole game plan, actually, like approach two girls and how to end up home with them, like, you know, or find yourself, like, you know, actually... If you're into the threesomes and the whole thing, like the best thing is to find yourself a girl who is bisexual, by bi- curious bisexual, and then you so as a wingman go out there, pick up other girls, bring them home, and the whole that actually that's really easy way how to do it. Like and you can like you know go bomb. That's a good strategy. You can have <laughs> amazing and there's a whole game plan how to do you know basically like you know we call this kind of you know kind of more pivot game like you know. Sh- what she needs to do in that segment, what you are doing in that segment, like for example, like, you know, you can, you know, let's say you choose some girl, you are the one who is going to approach, you know, talk, talk, then she comes and you introduce, oh, this is my friend, you know, kind of Christina, then you eject, you go drinks, you leave them some time alone, so basically, and all, so after, let's say, like, you know, a couple of hours, couple of drinks, it's not you saying, hey, let's go back to my place or somewhere else, it's your girl saying, hey, let's go to his amazing apartment, because there's a less resistance from her, so... Some elements, you know, as we say, like, you know, attraction, sexual rapport, some elements she's doing, and some elements, some part of the game you are, you still, you, you still have to do, you know. So with the proper communication, you can develop really good, you know, wingman skills with your girl where you can kind of go out and really kind of have fun, even in a relationship, even like, you know, with five, six years later, like, you know, what? So that, that's, that's one way how you can keep the spark in the relationship. Oh, yeah, yeah, and one of my favorite ways, <laughs> you know, one of my favorite ways, and I love to do that, like, you know. In relationships and you're like you know it's you know kind of it's it's amazing when you have like your girl like you know next morning you you sit down for coffee you're debriefing oh you know when you said this like you know this, you know kind of this you know with you know kind of so it's really amazing because kind of you become like a partners in crime in a relationship mm. which is so much fun you know mm. yeah uh, can you give uh, guys or maybe even girls <clears throat> some tips on how to keep that spark in the relationship this sexual spark. We covered one part, okay, it's a threesome, maybe, even in a, in a relationship, if you can do it with your girl. Uh, what's What other things uh, you think that people can, can do to keep this spark? I mean, like, you know, breaking the pattern of routine, you know. You know, the spark gets killed with a routine, like, you know, can I, you do every, every weekend the same, every day the same, so, like, you know, the moment you break that, you kind of, you push... Um, or maybe you have both of you are very disciplined, hardworking. Yeah, like you know, then you give yourself a little bit of a break. Yes. You know, you go to sex shops, you experiment. You know, with different toys, <laughs> different people, fantasies. You sit down again, like you know, play with her unfulfilled fantasies. You put your list of unfulfilled fantasies. Like, okay, what are we gonna do next weekend? You know, can I? You, you know, if you invest intelligence, and that's kind of what I'm teaching. This game is won here with the brain okay if you if you can have capacity to think and to analyze you can be a good player playboy if you, you know kind of actually using that iq not just to analyze things but like you know to kind of like you know to do it properly so you can really achieve a lot like you know in your in your basically usually they say geeks are not not good, like you know, can I with the girls? Actually, I love working with geeks with with IT people with high, you know, like whole you know STEM field guys. intellectual guys, <clears throat> because I can really use their intelligence capacity into this field and put them into kind of give them the schemes, you know, formulas and everything. They can kind of plug and play and create use that intelligence and to create amazing dating life. How do you put them more into the body? How do you move this? Yeah, Energy, basically, the, this yeah focus exactly. From it's the it's three because, frontal cortex. Yes, exactly. But there are exercises. The there are exercises. Usually, like you know, uh, all my approaches are very physical. You know, approaching, turning them around, street stops, like you know, doing that. But as well, like you know, in the long run, you sign them up for sports. It's excellent to do some sports. You know, gym, boxing, maybe dancing also, dancing, playing guitar, anything to get more in the body, to get out from the brain into the body. Like you know, because I would say, game is sixty percent brain, forty percent body. You need both. Just like you know, you need to seduce not only her brain; it's two layers. Seducing her brain and giving everything what her brain needs 
to sleep with you and then seducing her body. It's a body to body level. I think, for example, if, I, if I'm thinking about myself, I think that I'm more you know, here. Yeah, yeah. And I'm more here, and I had some <clears throat> period, I don't know how, how many years before, that uh, I had some period that I was single. Uh, and uh, I went on a dance classes, and I went almost for, for a year, and uh, I got much more relaxed, much more playful, and uh, I think that it the helped. Center, it helped the center of lot, man energy is here. Lot. Okay, center of man energy is like here, like in a, like in a main chakra here. And uh, center of female is lower, hips. That's why kind of they move everything. It's there, like you know, um, male is here. So you just Heart. need to move it exactly from here. Heart, yeah, like you know. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, um, like, there are ways. So it's not balls, but heart. Yeah. There are ways how to um, how to move that energy, like you know, sports. You know, any physical activity is one of the best. The different ways, you know, you can, but it's, it's teachable. It's something that you can, we usually take guys on a coaching, actually, how to move from here to there. And it's know? also good when you go dancing, you're dancing with the girls, yeah. you're touching. No, them, no, that's amazing. Any, any, anything like, you know, go do anything, <laughs> go work as a bartender whole summer, somewhere like, you know, you'll be just, you will be in your body whole summer, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. like anything that's physical, like, you know, any sports, gym, Anything what you can do, like, you know, kind of just kind of to get out from the mental zone, you know. So, okay, let's go like this. Uh, the core, the core value of this, of this brand uh, is self-improvement, growth, working on yourself. Uh, so what can guys do um, by, by themselves to start working? From my opinion, I, I always see in my mind these two pillars. I see the first pillar being called mindset which is beliefs, attitudes, uh, yeah. self-image, ad- identity, things like that. And the second pillar is skills, skills like communication skills, uh, like maybe self-awareness, which is a very important skill. I know several ways how to do, do uh, how to improve this uh, skill. And of course, several other important skills <laughs> that you can, that you can improve. You know what's so beautiful do, here? Two pillars. You know what's beautiful here? The moment you approach a woman, they give you full honest feedback. And I love them for that. You know, my my main coach who I learn from are the girls. So all my knowledge, skills, it comes down to them. Because the moment you approach them, they will trigger, they will tell you everything what's wrong with you. Everything what you didn't work on on yourself will come out you are you know dressed bad you know you didn't sleep well you didn't eat well you don't work out you're fat you you know you know your breath smells bad you know everything you didn't work on yourself you didn't fix you're shy you don't know what to talk you don't have a job you know you don't have interesting life it will come out It can hit your ego, and that's basically why, that's why there's a whole resistance to approach, why guys are feeling bad and, you know, because you know all that shit will come out, and you cannot hide under the carpet. If you work on yourself, as you say, on your skills and your kind of beliefs, I come there with a pride. Look at me. I can talk about anything I can have the most interesting conversation. Actually, I was so crazy. Like my my real like in my first four or five years, I was like like men scientist, like you know kind of Tesla, like Einstein. Like you know, I was I was really going beyond and above. Like I was subscribed. I was the only male yearly subscriber to Cosmopolitan. You know, know your enemy. I knew all their trends when the shoes are coming out, which is now in trend. I knew everything because. You know, Look at her. You were just too dangerous. I was like, you know, you know how crazy I was. Like, I would, I, I my first, I think, like, you know, I bought like, you know, voice recorder, this kind of voice recorder for the, the basic one for the seminars, conferences, mm-hmm. with the microphone. Mm-hmm. Because I was like, okay, why the fuck? I go out and some conversations, they go amazing. We start making out and then nothing, nothing, nothing. You know, like a 10x approach is nothing, like, you know, like, or street or cafes, like, you know. So I'm like, you know what? Let me record 
one week of conversations. So I was like doing full week talking with 20 to 50 girls per day. Mm, very good. Idea. Okay. For a week. On Friday night, I sat down. I didn't go out. I opened the Word document and transcribe all that conversations. I said, she said, I said, she that said. That is a professional. I said, she said. <clears throat> that is a professional. Like 500, I think four or 500 conversations. I print them out. I print them and put them on the floor, on the living room. I spent whole Saturday and Sunday analyzing. Uh -huh, here I said this, uh -huh, here, there I said that. Uh -huh, look, when I said this, it got me the phone number. When I, so I started, you know, seeing like the patterns and like. Unbelievable. This is. How crazy, and this is like how scientific I was, okay? Like, you know, so yes, I agree. It really comes down to two things on the end of the day, like, you know, your inner world. Skills also. Yeah. You know, kind of, how do you see yourself, you know? Because you can approach a girl, you can go to a nightclub and think you are the ugliest guy there. And nobody wants you. You can, or you can go up to the club and, and be in your mind, I'm the hottest shit here. Like, you know, you know, kind of, you want me. You know, all the girls want me here. Both these beliefs are equally true and false. Which one is more useful to believe? And actually, I came to the point when I was playing with the beliefs, like, I don't know, six months, like, you know, I really like, you know, kind of, with every like molecule of my muscle, I knew, basically I was like, you want me. I would come, I would approach a girl with a mindset, you want me. And what I usually do when I bring a girl back home next morning, I'm like, okay, like, you know, I usually, I usually debrief. My, my sweetest part is like, oh, next morning we have breakfast. Back Tell me, when camp. I approach you, what do you, th <laughs> what do you think about me? You know, really, because then you learn what was good, what was bad, when I said this, what did you felt when I bought your drink, you know her point of view, because then you start connecting things. And she's like, I don't know why, you know, but the moment you approach me, I, I wanted to be with you, like, you know, I wanted you. Next week, another one, she's like, same thing, like, you know, because I came to the point where I, you know, basically my game was not techniques at one point. It was, I, I, I was just testing beliefs. Can I do it with beliefs only? And then I had, a, I had like a real crazy research. At one point I hired because I wanted, okay, I wanted to learn from others, okay? Okay, because, you know, I was, like, pretty much alone. There was nothing, like, that was, like, 1999, 2000, early, like, you know. So, um, I took, I, I like, this kind of uh, Sennheiser wireless microphones. So, I paid two models from model agency, hired them for a night, put them in a nightclub, put microphone on them. It was on Shalata, like, you know, and I still remember, like, it was yesterday, like, you know. I sat in a car and I was listening all night how the other guys will approach them and taking notes. And like actually recording and everything, like, you know, so I was like, you know, like, I mean, that's how crazy I was like, you know, but to learn to master this, I went beyond and above what normal people do to master this area. And that's why I'm today like, you know, on the top of the game. Uh, and I remember like, you know, at one point, like, you know, majority of approaches, like, you know, hey, like, you know, what you're drinking, what such a nice girl is doing by herself or two girls, you know, like, lame, lame, like, like nothing, okay, like, you know. And uh, one girl, I saw conversation was good, like, you know, but the guy left, you know, okay, actually, no, she rejected him, like, you know. And I was like, you know, later debriefing, like, why did you reject this guy, like, you know, kind of, you know, kind of, he liked you and you liked her. Like, she's like, yeah, I liked him, but I felt that he doesn't believe that he deserves me. Because, you know, mm. he was like thinking, oh, she's too pretty mm -hmm. for me. Mm -hmm. Beliefs. She was like, I felt he believes that I'm way too, I, I'm out of his league. If you believe you're out of my league, you're probably true. If you believe you don't deserve me, why should I think otherwise? And that's the problem with beliefs. So, so what can what can a regular guy do because I suppose that regular guy you are you went so deep inside of this fanatically with obsession we will we will talk about it why maybe if you if you try to analyze yourself why did you go so deep inside of this topic 
this part of the life. But uh, what regular guy is not going to do all of this? And he doesn't have to. He doesn't, he doesn't have, to. have to. So what can you uh, give to, to the guy watching this and listening to, to this? What can he do by himself to uplift his mindset and uplift his skills? What he can do on a regular basis because we are the creatures of habits and what we do every day is what, what counts. Yeah. What what can he do okay. every single day to uplift so, his mindset? I'll, I'll give you a couple of really skills. simple and maybe exercises. the most important skills. Okay, sorry. I'll give you a couple of like, you know, kind of simple. Okay, first thing is like, you know, mind map your inner game, your thought process. Okay. Be aware of what triggers what. You know. Like it's it's really like, you know, now we can go but you know into the science, but like you know, kind of when you see a hot girl. You know, sit down and write down what goes to your mind. What's stopping you when you want to? Out of my league, she's there. exactly, exactly. And these are the bullet points. This is like you know, gold pit. The mind will give you. That's feedback. Mind will give you what's bothering him. It can be your mother. It can be like you know. I remember like you know, like I want at one point like you know, ten years ago, like I started doing some like you know, pass, you know, create a business that brings the money by itself, passive, you know, passive income. Every my project failed. I tried five, seven, ten of them. All my passive profile failed. And then I went into really deep inside. Why, why, why? And in one session, I remember my father telling me when I was like a 10 years old, my son, if you want to make money, you have to you have to work to make money. Work hard to make money. Work hard to make money. Money doesn't grow on trees. Exactly. And that, until I didn't solve this belief, but people don't Nothing. don't don't understand how this is important. It, how, it, how important it, this it, is. It, exactly. Because it blocks everything. It block, it, you know, everything it, it else. blocks you. It blocks you like you know. And then so every new let's go like this. Every so mind map yeah, the negative Every negative new beliefs. level of life will require the new you. Okay? When you are I had a problem with charging premium money for my coaching program, like, you know, for one-on-one. Like, I think I saw that with myself. These clients didn't come. The moment I said, okay, like, you know, you know, my price is this, and it's okay to pay this, people start, I started attracting them, and, and, and it was okay for them to pay that price, whatever it is, like, you know. So, it really is, comes down to your ability. Like, a really good way to kill it, okay, is to... Ask yourself contra questions opposite from. For example, like you know, the brain is the most moldable, easiest to change. First half an hour in the morning when you wake up, and last half an hour before you sleep. Because That's why the mind waves. Yeah. Brain reading waves. news or in this kind of you know opening phone, reading news portals is the worst because it all goes into your unconscious. Okay, so if you take these two moments, those two segments of, of the day, when you wake up before you go to first sleep. half an hour, last half an hour, like you know, you can actually mold the brain. Okay, what do you do? Let's say um, you have belief girls don't like me. You ask yourself, and, and, and no, and it's funny thing. If you ask yourself, okay, why I have no luck with girls? Why go, your uncle will tell you oh, because you're fat, because of this, because like you know, kind of you don't make enough money. The brain will tell you if you ask yourself these questions. If you ask the positive questions, why every girl loves me? That's a very good. Why every girl, as soon as I approach her, she wants to talk with me? If I can, if I can get in for a second. Sure. So usually people talk about these affirmations. And what I heard from uh, Vishen Lakiani, he is the founder of Mind Valley. I don't know if you are aware mm -hmm. of this company. They're number one. Yeah, yeah I, I know. Company company I know in, I'm not on it. And uh, he said affirmations doesn't work because if you say, I have a big dick. I have a big dick, I have a big dick, and then you look yeah. down and it's not big. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. But if you, he calls these lofty questions. If you ask yourself, why do girls love me? Exactly. Yeah. Then you try to find reasons, reasons why. why it's possible. I'm a guy who works on himself. Exactly. I'm the guy who. I'm this. funny. I'm, I'm the, this. Exactly. This is this is the tr and this that, is truth. And and that's how I change. That's truth. how I change yeah. my whole map. So yeah, I wrote yeah, down yeah, yeah. everything what was fucking me up, what was blocking me, on a piece of paper, and I wrote opposite questions from to attack each one of that. Why I don't feel anything when I see, why when I see a hot girl, I feel amazing. 
because you know that, that, that that's a signal. It's your girl. You know, kind of, every, you know, why I always have something to say. You know, I was like running out of things to say. Like, why I always say something? Because like, you know, you have blah, 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 blah. You know, it, it, your brain will give you, you know, it, it's such an amazing machine. We have the best computer attached to our body that was ever designed, like, you know. There it's is a saying. There is a saying. Your your brain is like a supercomputer. It is. And no, you're no, 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 saying it, it is. And your self talk is the program it will run. <laughs> and <laughs> your self talk. It's it, it's. So what do you yeah, say exactly. to yourself? It, it's one of the programs. Your, exactly. your beliefs and your beliefs and are the. So basically, you can. System. So I would say what I'm doing now, speaking of seduction dating, you can use techniques and you can run game based on techniques. You can go there, make a g- approach, make a girl's horny, and you know do the true techniques. Perfect, it works. And that's level one. You That will get your results. Then you take those things, techniques, and you create an autopilot game based on beliefs. That's a true game. Now, you don't need to think about and analyze everything. It's kind of autopilot. It's already in your conscience, and it just executes. Why, as soon as I see a hot girl, I go, I start walking towards them? Because they need me. That's my mind. Because, like, you know, you're going to make their day. You're going to make their night. You know, you know, they want you. They need you. Save them from boring guys. You know, that's my mind. You know, how I train my mind. But what is today with, with all that Sorry, Like, you know, so it really, it really is about training your mind. So this is the first part. Mind map. Your thoughts, your beliefs, and try to use this first half an hour and the last yeah. half an hour of the day and that works try to think about it and try to use these lofty questions why am i good with now girls? there's a try problem there's, there's a problem reasons. Exactly. there's a problem some of the guys it will work for some guys for sure okay some of the guys you need what can they still do uh wait 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 some you know it will work for some of them some of them they it's not going because they don't have authority to you don't have authority to rewrite your own beliefs so like you know there's a whole ego complex and everything, like, you know, we kind of like, you know, you're not going to allow to, you know, your brain is not going to allow you to, you know, to change yourself, like, you know. This is one of the ways to go around, okay, like, you know, other way, like, you know, is really like, you know, exposing your, exposing yourself to the certain environments where you can prove it wrong, you know, kind of go into discussions, you know, kind of like, you know, prove your brain wrong. That everything is okay. Like, for example, you're afraid to approach girls, you know, you go there, like, and you do it, you know, kind of fake it till you make it, you know, kind of like brute force changing beliefs. That's, that's how I did it, like, as well, like, you know, kind of, but there's a, you know, on coaching, that's kind of what, you, you know, it's hard, like, you know, I have more coaching things that I do as a coach to the client, you know, but, but it really requires two people, you know, to work, like, you know, fixing yourself. Some guys can do it. Some guys have a problem doing it, like, you know, kind of. You know, can you be your own coach? Mm. So what what else can they do regularly, day by day, to improve their skills that is that are going to help them with women? But Reading, generally, okay, like, you meditation, know, meditation, okay. uh, dance classes. What, like, can, what can they do? Going to okay, the gym. hang out with girls, you know, kind of, okay, like hang out with, with females. Create a social circle. Surround yourself with girls. Don't try to sleep with every beautiful girl. Try to kind of, you know, be their amazing guy. See, like, you know, learn about them, the habits, the needs. Be the guy who, you know, who understands, you know, who is like, who takes care of them, who takes care of people. Be the leader type, like, you know, work on yourself, you know. Medit- from meditation to sports, testosterone is really important in this game, okay? That's kind of something we forgot about. On the end of the day, it's estrogen needs testosterone, and testosterone needs estrogen to be happy. So, how do you do? How do you work on your testosterone? Uh, like certain foods, you can Google it. Like you know, which foods boost testosterone? Uh, enough sleep, workout, heavy weights, like you know, hang out, you know, kind of being a leader. Like, and there's a whole thing. Like for example, the way you are sitting, it's lowering testosterone. Because my balls are hot. Put ice on them. <laughs> Here, like, you know, you have like, your, your, your assistant there, like, you know, bring some ice, like, you know. 
no, like, you know, like, you know, it's a little like, you know, when you're kind of closing yourself, they actually, they did measures, like, you know, kind of, you take, like, you know, this kind of beta positions, you close yourself, they take blood, blood out, your testosterone lowers, like, you, you open up, you use the space, you know, mm-hmm. kind of, testosterone goes up, you know. Mm-hmm. So there is a way, like, you know, to do, you know, kind of, there's a way, like, you better, but work out, hang out with men, do men stuff, do physical stuff, compete, uh, challenges, gym, uh, red meat, you know, like, you know, old school stuff, they will produce, that's better, like, you know, they, you know, that will produce testosterone, you know, and you'll feel better, you'll feel more sexual, and, you know, it's, it's, it's a very easy way to project, you know, and to attract as well, like, you know, so, like, I would say, take care of your testosterone, especially today, like, you know, with, you know, with all that kind of food, like, for example, chicken is full of estrogen, like, you know, um, so avoiding some of the foods, like, you know, that you eat, like, but there's a whole, like, you know, meal plan to for, for having a kind of, kind of balanced life and your testosterone, like, you know, there there are ways, there are ways, like, you know, and it's like, so that's kind of one thing you can do, like, you know, I would say another thing which you can do is, is really like, you know, self-development, to work in any areas of your life that you think that you know, like, you know, one step of the out good ways is to watch this podcast. Also. Exactly. Continue watching. Subscribe to the podcast. Whatever you're watching it now, subscribe and keep watching. Develop. Keep learning. You know, knowledge. Become, like, a, you know, skills. become a learning machine. Exactly. Knowledge, skills. Like you know, I mean, have some balance. You don't want to like, learn, learn, learn. Like you know, use those skills as well somewhere. Like you know, not just gonna, you Exec- know, execute. Exactly. Yeah. Don't just accumulate. Experience. Like you know, yeah. Experience. So use them wisely, like, you know, really, like, you know, everything what I did, like, you know, from, you know, martial arts training to playing ping pong to yoga, meditation, brain things, I incorporated everything. I, I use them, all those things on daily basis, you know, in some kind of routine also for seduction, for dating, whatever it is, like, you know, so try to, try to, you know, acquire the knowledge, but as well, like, you know, can I use the knowledge? One question is still waiting to be answered, but it's not going to be answered still. The question is, why did you go so deep and why are you so obsessed about this part of the life? You're going to answer it later. But first, let us let let us say to the audience, how does your, your uh, regular day looks like? Do you have, because you are working on yourself for decades at the moment and uh, I suppose that you structured your day or structured your week uh, in some way that is benefiting you uh, to become better every single day how does well, your I'm actually regular day today looks? more enjoying the work of my last <laughs> of my last 12 last 20 years past 20 years like you know so um, because it's not only like, you know, push, 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 next project, this, that, like, you know, like, you know, sometimes you can just kind of, you know, take some, you know. Smell the flowers. Exactly, smell the flowers, like, you know, kind of relax your brain. But yeah, like, you know, discipline, you know, kind of, I would say, every morning I try to, like, you know, a little bit, you know, kind of be productive, you know, kind of record something, shoot something, you know, learn, develop, like, you know, extend my skills, like, I always like, kind of list things of, like, you know, I'm working on, couple of projects I'm running, you know, kind of couple of things that's, that's making me money and always like a two, three projects in a pipeline that, you know, kind of that will probably like, you know, make money in the future, I need to invest. So that like, you know, a little bit of meditation, good food, hang out with good people, girlfriend, like, you know, we do lots of stuff together as well, like, you know, evening gym, maybe some dates with some girls, two of us, we go like, you know, friends or some like, you know, we go with girls kind of movies, dinner, something, like, you know, always, like, try to kind of push a little bit, like, you know, the comfort zone, do something new, like, you know, nature, you know, balanced life, like, you know, try to kind of, like, you know, build balanced life. So what is the balance for you at the moment? Work life and relaxing, enjoying. I do, I do, like, you know, I do, like, you know, four or five hours a day, work productive. I found, basically, I'm a morning person, so I would say, like, you know, from 10 till 2 till lunch, that's my productive hours and uh yeah like you know if you know if it's needed like if project sometimes something big i'll stay like you know all night all day up doing stuff but i would say just kind of regular day like you know that's kind of my thing like you know kind of three four hours of work what what habit would you pick that is <clears throat> the most 
important to you that you like doing it? Is it meditation or something else? Maybe reading? Do you read? What, what habit do you like say, to do at the moment? I would say gym. Gym. Yeah. I don't know, like, you know, kind of last, last few years, like, I find, like, myself, like, really good, like, you know, all that kind of moving from brain to the body, like, you know, pushing it, like, you know, actually, what I didn't, like, you know, since I'm now back from Brazil, I didn't do much gym, so now I'm really back into the, into the body thing. I was just kind of being too much capirinhas, cocktails, <laughs> hanging out on a beach. So these days it's all about, like, you know, kind of going back into that and... And I love actually, I love this. I love shooting new content, like, you know, creating, solving solutions, dating solutions that people couldn't solve. Like, you know, kind of like I sit down, I always say like, you know, kind of my guys are actually giving me what's new on the market or I go out there. I still do a couple of approaches per month just to kind of stay in touch with what's happening. You know, different trends now, different, like, you know, kind of, you know, girls are into different things. So I can always like trying to kind of, use my brain and my scientific craziness, like, you know, to kind of crack what's new and coming for the future generations. So let's go even deeper. Okay. Try me. <laughs> the question that, that is waiting to be answered. Uh, I know that uh, you've been, you're also very spiritual guy. Uh, you were experimenting with some uh, alternative states of the mind, for example. Let, let me call them like that, Transcend transcendence uh, practices like ayahuasca or something like that. Mm -hmm. Let's try to combine this ayahuasca ceremony or ceremonies, I don't know how much you, you did of those, with, uh, with this question, why do you pursue this calling why why did you spend last two decades decades of your life becoming the michael jordan of of dating, dating. and seduction do you know do you have this answer for yourself do you ask this question to yourself yes like you know okay like you know yes and no i don't know it's just the calling as you said like you know it's you know actually i was uh, Ayahuasca opened up my eyes on that because that was one of my questions to be answered there, like, you know, because it's whole different spiritual where you can connect with your past lives, with your mission, with what's my mission? And but it all it all, it all, it was always the same answer. You are the candle, you are the light, lead them. Show them the way, help them. So yes, I think that's my mission on this life and I just felt, you know, when I when I'm coaching, I feel on fire. I feel like, you know, it's my it's my thing. I'm, you know, I need to help people come up with solutions. You know, kind of do what other, you know, what other brains cannot invent. You know, I, I would say, like, you know, I don't want to compare myself with Tesla with all with all those, you know, kind of geniuses. But like, you know, I can see why they went or like why, why like, you know, Elon Musk wants to get us on different planets and like, you know, it's that kind of determination and fire. Session. Yeah, like, you know, it's really like, it, it's beyond logic, it's beyond, it's just something that that keeps you awake and alert, you have to do, it's a mission. You know, it's if you didn't experience it, it's hard to kind of, to explain it. Like, it really, you really feel, okay, like, you know, I have to do this. I was doing illogical stuff, like, you know, I'm not like, you know, kind of one friend of mine, he was like, you know, I have a group here of the guys in Amsterdam, like, you know, they have a problems with girls, like, you know, he was, he was running some group there, like, you know, but, you know, they don't have money and we can come up for like flight tickets, we can connect, we can collect two, three hundred euros, can you come and coach them for a weekend for like, I'm not sure, like, you know, like, it was no problem for me to sit in a plane, just kind of. There was no money, like, you know, I was like, you know, paying my food, my hotel, everything, they just covered my flighting. And I was like, you know, taking these 10 guys and turn them into, you know, really amazing men. So, uh, to answer, yes, like, you know, it's my mission, it's my calling, it's my, it's, it's beyond, like, you know, I love doing it and probably that's kind of reason why I still stay even though so after all those girls, it's not, it's not other girls, it's not about the girls. Okay. Uh... So you are you are one of the avatars of this <clears throat> of this brand, which is few values: the value of constantly improving yourself, uh, having this growth mindset, 
doing something that that puts fire under under your ass that that is a mission for you and through that you uh, develop this sense of fulfillment of freedom and maybe even peace of mind yeah because you are you are doing it so thank you for that thank you for being an example of how you can really live the life of of your dreams how can you achieve very no, I'm real, great I, great like, things i would say like you know i'm doing what i love like you know somebody it's not the money the payoff is into the feeling you know that i'm getting like you know so sort of like you know i have no problem flying to another part of the world just to do this you know to continue working on that and continue helping people so it really is like about that especially when you can you know kind of monetize that and live with it it's kind of really like you know beyond and above what one can wish uh do you have some other needs that you can fulfill do you see some other things in life that is mm, maybe uh that you are curious about that you can go more into at the moment or this is the the life that that you want to continue living i came to the point where like you know okay before maybe like whole business you know when i was saying i was struggling with the money but now i would say you know your brand and your company comes to the point where you like you know it's kind of maintaining and making money so i can now basically i just i spent like you know two and a half months in brazil you know on a beach on a nice house like you know basically so i can be anywhere in the world and live the life i always dreamed of you know i was like a little boy like you know kind of having a nice car nice house if you're bored pack your luggage and fly to another continent and spend a couple of months there so you're like you know it's you know living my dreams at the moment so when uh, rolling stones or my, uh, mick jagger says i can get no satisfaction is this how you can feel sometimes or does this give you satisfaction i mean it's like I would say satisfaction is about really understanding, you know, kind of understanding um uh, your needs and fulfilling them like, you know, kind of so like, you know, if you oversaturate them with stuff, of course you're not going to feel it. If you're consuming them non-stop, you know, kind of if you just have like a three songs every day, of course they're going to be, you know, they'll stop being fun. And it's not going to give you such a, but if you're smart about it and you do it like once a month or like every so and then it's going to be something you crave for and something that kind of that's going to give you amazing satisfaction so it's all about you know if you eat your favorite spaghetti your dish every day you will get you know after 10 days okay like you know fuck this mm. okay mm. but if you eat it like once a week it will still be for your favorite dish for a very very long time so it's again it's the brain it's discipline you know know what the fuck you're doing so what is the last advice maybe that that you can give to the guys to the camera of yours before we go apart last advice who oh, like you know how much better is you guys have <laughs> 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 um okay let's see like don't give up you know kind of okay if you're in a problem with a dark space you know kind of like you know you don't have success with whatever area of your life it is work on it use use intelligence i really love the movie men on the moon you know when 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 they uh, when the guy started growing what was the movie name like you know when they left him on the moon and uh, or mars and he started growing you know stuff mm. he i think that it was called mars the mars yes that's <clears throat> you know that's the mindset you figure the shit out you do matter you use your brain whatever it is is it the money is it like you know the love life you know use intelligence and your analytical brain to sort it out like you know is it your emotions your traumas there are people who can help you who can lead you it's easier with the coaches of course try everything what you can to fix by yourself and then if you really can figure out something find a coach find a mentor who will get to the next level where you want to be okay so, but first you know try doing it by yourself it's much more satisfaction than paying someone to do it for you but if you're really stuck if you you know you tried everything you know nothing works 
then find yourself a mentor, like a coach, you know, kind of who will help you reach your goals. So where can people find you? You can find me on internet. <laughs> what's, the, what's the best platform? Okay, like, you know, uh, Instagram. Actually, like, you know, it's all on the website, badboylifestyle.com. Uh, and like, yeah, like, you know, that's the starting point. And like, you have Instagram and everything there, like, you know. So I would say, because I'm on TikTok and Instagram, all social media, Facebook, like different logins, usernames. So like, you know, uh, but yeah, like, you know, badboylifestyle.com, all information is there. Contact me, let me know. We have like, you know, kind of trainings all, all around the year and like, as well, like, you know, kind of some online stuff. Do you have some next uh, seminar maybe? Yes, next one is going to be in Croatia, split summer camp, our regular, like, you know, one of the most fun that I'm actually preparing the whole year okay. where all my coaches come and we do a kind of hardcore, like, you When know, is that in split? It's mid-August, August 11 mid -August. till 25. Is that Ultra Europe this year also in yeah, split? Yeah, but it, well, it's, I think it's before, like, it's, it's before. in June, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that and, like, you know, it's, you know, we do stuff basically in on other continents as, like, in Brazil. It's one of my favorite destinations, like, you know, to relax. And it's like, you know, it's an amazing place to kind of enjoy life and learn how life can be beautiful. And then actually you use that kind of, and then you make it happen in your home as well. Like, you know, once you understand. Yeah. So bad boy, Daniel, is this the best pronunciation of your, your name? Daniel. Uh, yeah. Dan can, for American. Can they do it? Dan is easier. Like, you know, actually most people call me Dan. Thank you. Thank you yeah. for your time. Thank you for Thank you. doing what you do, for being an example of that you can uh, create the life that you want uh, and enjoy it to the fullest. Uh, guys and girls, I hope that you enjoyed. Let's see each other again in two weeks and maybe in some near, near future even more, more frequent. Enjoy. Thank you as well. I can thank you for inviting me. Pleasure. <laughs>